Hey guys, today we have the keys to this Mercedes-Benz E63 S AMG. In this video, we'll do a quick walk around showing you some of the details, the interior, and things that I'm not going to cover in the full driving review. First up, we have the key. This is the brand new generation Mercedes key, uh, unlike the old one that lasted for a long time. It's got this more rectangular shape to it. It's got the AMG badge on the back, a little AMG engraving there. It's pretty nice, actually. like it a lot more than the old one. Now, let's unlock the car and show you guys some of the things about it. Exterior wise, it's got the like satin gray, frozen gray battleship paint and it looks really good. Uh, this type of paint is really hard to maintain. So this whole car has Expel Stealth and then Ceramic Pro uh, to protect it on top of it. If you, if you don't know, a lot of times like the BMW frozen paint, the Mercedes ones, they give you a little guide. It's like, this is how you take care of your paint. Make sure you don't let bird poop sit on it. If it gets rubbed up, it gets like all shiny. There was a uh, frozen like cranberry colored F90 M5 at the Detroit Auto Show. And from everybody just rubbing up and touching on it, it had all these shiny spots, which kind of ruins it. So if you get a car in this frozen color, you really do want to wrap it up. So this has Expel on it and then ceramic. This is like a fully optioned car. I mean, this paint's not inexpensive, but it's got carbon fiber everything. It does not have carbon ceramic bricks. That was a uh, big debate. You can get carbon ceramic bricks on this car, uh, but it's a it's a large heavy sedan and honestly the owner of this one was never going to track the car a lot of people probably aren't going to be tracking them and carbon ceramics are compromised in terms of uh i mean refinement they get noisy and they're when they're cold they don't behave the best so i told him just like just get the steel brakes but it's got like the big black forged wheels carbon fiber everything a lot of the stuff is in blacked out painted the grill badges you see these the v8 bi-turbo formatic plus carbon fiber trim there carbon fiber on the mirrors door handles are black around back to the little carbon fiber lip everything has been painted black here quad exhaust tips small diffuser nothing too over the top aggressive this is the latest generation e-class exterior i think it looks really good um one of the complaints i've had is when they first came out they all start looking kind of similar between the c-class the s-class the e-class it's just like somebody took a printer and went 75 percent size 50 percent size we're done uh, but you can see the E-Class, one of the easiest ways you can tell is it has the double daytime running light here. Whereas I think the S-Class has one on top, same thing on the C-Class, but E-Class has two of them going on. Let's uh, pop the engine cover, Let's pop the hood and show you guys the engine real quick. It's down here underneath. Four liter twin turbo V8 makes 603 horsepower in this car. It's got, it's got this little piece of carbon fiber trim here, which I imagine probably costs astronomical amount. You can kind of see, it seems to be yellowing a little bit. When you get heat on it, that seems to happen with carbon fiber. Uh, I know early McLaren's had that issue and does look like you can see how it's a little more yellow tinge there, but less, it's more clear here. So it happens, I mean, engine generates a lot of heat. Mercedes with the uh, AMG one man, one engine. This one was made by Kevin Bellman. Good job, you made a, a great motor. 603 horsepower, holy crap. Let's get around inside. Lots of carbon fiber too. Again, this car was like fully optioned. Actually, let me close the hood first because we'll start the car up too. Shut the hood. This frozen finish does look really, really cool. And you see the flared out wheel arches up front too. It's a really aggressive looking car. This is the first model year of the E63. So it has the older steering wheel. They've updated the steering wheel to the one you see in like S-classes and G-wagons. It's got like a little toggle thing. It still works fine. I mean, I have no complaints about that. Soft closed doors. Yes. All the carbon fiber trim. As with all Mercedes, the uh, seat controls are on the door itself. Burmeister sound system. Watch this. When you start the car up, uh, start button's right here. Yes. The speakers, the little tweeters in the door rotate out. Got one there, you got one there. If it's at night, the ambient lighting, they also glow. You can kind of see the orange back there. You can change it to blue, there's a bunch of different colors. In the interior, I mean, <laughs> it's an E63S. It's very fully optioned. You've got the big digital double screen now. One continuous, not continuous, there's actually a, a little uh, space in between here but it's like linked in one huge thing. The graphics are beautiful. As with AMGs, you get the little clock here that's IWC. 
you know, watches, you know, on WC is a pretty good brand. You got the AMG badge here, more carbon fiber. The command system for Mercedes, the rotary knob here. They got a little touchpad thingy that you can uh, control things. Exhaust mode button, the parking suspension. We'll talk about that more in the uh, driving one, the suspension. You can change, here's this toggle is changing your modes for the vehicle. So you can see, let's see, this is individual. You can go into comfort, sport, sport plus, and it has a race mode. Center here, you got the speedometer, tachometer. It does also have a heads up display. You can see it hovering right there. The seats are, are rather thinly padded. They're very supportive like sport buckets, but in my first impressions already, they're not the most comfortable seats in a luxury sedan. With the AMG badge here, the AMG crest is embroidered on the headrest, uh, right there, and then in the back. It does seat five, but uh, I wouldn't want to be sitting in that middle seat there at all. Giant panoramic sunroof. You got more of these machine metal, the, the laser drilled holes, the Burmeister sound system. Got the huge sunroof there, and another one back there, with the uh, another speaker in the middle right there. You've got a lot of controls on the left side of the steering wheel, things like lane keep assist, the parking sensors. The car is on air suspension, so you can raise it. Look, it says vehicle rising uh, for better ground clearance. These large paddle shifters are fixed to the steering wheel. They're made of metal. They're pretty nice. I like the. I really love the way the AMG paddle shifters feel when you pull them. Pop the trunk down there. Let's go show you guys. The trunk is uh, filled with a lot of stuff right now. This is uh, my friend Mobin's daily, out oh, the door's closing on me, daily driver, and it's currently filled with camera stuff, but it's a pretty large trunk. See, it's full of regular, just microfiber towels and all the camera stuff here. You have the two buttons back here. This one is to just close it. I believe this one will lock the trunk, uh, lock the car when you close it up. This car also sounds really good. It's, it's an aggressive, it's got the uh, sport exhaust. You can vary the exhaust mode. But let's see. Uh, let's make it loud. Exhaust is loud. Man, it cracks and snaps and pops. This is awesome. All right, guys, a quick walk around showing you some of the more detailed, in-depth things about the E63. Hope you like this video. Definitely check out the full review I'm doing and the ownership perspective with uh, my friend who actually owns and daily drives this car. If you have any questions, please comment below. Thanks for watching.